Hello everyone, I'm gonna show you real quick how to age paper from start to finish with getting it wet and having a finished product that is dry within seven minutes. Okay, so here are some um, various, as I was experimenting on how to do this, um, some failed attempts. So we're just gonna throw those away. What you're going to need is a sponge brush, a pan with a little bit of water in it, I've put a little bit of yellow acrylic paint in my water already, a little murky, and then a nice brown color. Now, why don't I use coffee grounds? Well, I don't really drink coffee and, or drink tea, and it takes longer for me. If you've got acrylic paint around the house, this is gonna be much better. So here is something that I designed. Look, I already ripped it, but that's fine. That's why this is fun. And um, some writing, and it's gonna go in the inside of one of my custom treasure chests. I'll post a link in, um, in the description below of my Etsy shop if you'd like to see my pieces. So let's just print it out after I designed it and drew it on an app called Procreate on my iPad. So now I'm just gonna rip the edges. You in no way want to be perfect with this. Do not use a ruler. And don't be worried if you get rips like that. The reason why I like to use acrylic paint and not coffee or tea is because with acrylic paint, I can adjust the darkness. So with paper, aged paper, it is going to yellow in some areas, blanch in others, and then the edges are generally gonna be dirty because if this was really a, a pirate's map and they carried it around rolled up like this, the edges are gonna be the dirtiest. So if you're using um, coffee or tea, it's much harder to get that variation in color. So I like for that reason to use ink. And now when you, it starts to get saturated like this, I'm, I have to be very careful. Because it will rip. See this edge here kind of folded back, but I like that, so. Alrighty. And that is it. So what I'm going to do now is I want to get, well, let's see. If I had a piece of paper towel really close by, I would blanch or um, blot this first, but I do not. See, look, and I just ripped that right there, but that's okay. Now my secret is a heat gun. I'm putting it on low setting, and I'm just going to start drying it. And with this heat gun, I'll have this thing dry here in just a matter of minutes. If you don't have a heat gun, you can also use your hair dryer. You just wanna be careful when you're using a heat gun that you do have it on the low setting and also that you're holding it far away, far enough away. And again, I have to be really careful because I've got that rip right there. You don't wanna handle it too much as it's drying. You only wanna pick it up. See, I'm just picking it up on the side here. And as I go, I can feel it already starting to harden. This guy is drying out perfectly. So now just a few more seconds and I'm gonna be able to handle this much, much easier. Okay, so now I've, so this is in real time guys, I'm not editing this. <laughs> you can see that I've now ripped all the way through there, through the letter N, and that is a perfect example of why you have to be careful when drying these. That's still gonna be usable though. We're now about halfway dry. I'm gonna lay this piece of wood here so that I'm away from the surface of the water. 
and I don't have to touch it as much. I really should have done this from the beginning. <laughs> By putting it on this piece of wood, it's, it's helping a lot. Less handling is better. Okay, so only a few minutes have passed and already this is pretty much dry. Might end up putting a piece of tape on the back there. I do see here there's one little splotch by the letter D. I want to stay away from doing what I literally just did, which is getting too much dark into where you're design is. That's going to be okay there, I think. Almost looks like an ink blot. It might be okay, it might not. The nice thing about this is, because I'm just printing on my inkjet printer something that I have um, illustrated, I can print this out again and again and I do not have to worry about messing up the one piece that I have. So as you can see here, this top part, you can hear that crinkle? That's completely dry. So there it is. I'll probably keep this one, but I'm also going to print another one and give it another go. But that's all I wanted to show you guys. Just remember, acrylic paint, heat gun, and you'll save yourself a lot of time and you'll have a much better looking product in the end.